Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the orthogonality of streamlines and equipotential lines. In other words, I'm going to prove that streamlines and equipotential lines are perpendicular to each other. So let's get started. Now, in order to prove that streamlines and equipotential lines are perpendicular, first I'll start with the streamline that since the stream function psi is denoted by or it is given by psi is a function of both x and y directions. So therefore on differentiating it, I get d psi and here since it depends upon x and y, so it would be partial differentiation that is of psi with respect to x plus psi with respect to y. Now therefore as per the definition of psi, psi is the stream function when differentiated with respect to x gives us the velocity in the negative y direction. It means d psi by dx is nothing but minus v. So therefore d psi is equal to minus v dx and as per the definition psi when differentiated with respect to y gives us the velocity in the positive x direction which is u so plus u dy and for a particular streamline the psi or the stream function is constant so its differentiation would be zero so when i keep it as zero therefore i'll write down since for a streamline that is for a single streamline psi is constant so if psi is constant d psi becomes zero so therefore when minus v dx goes on to the other side we have v dx is equal to u dy therefore i'll write down dy by dx is equal to v by u so this dy by dx is indicating the slope of streamline and I'll keep it as equation first. Similarly, I'll find for the equipotential lines that is for the equipotential function that since the equipotential function phi, it is also a function of x and y differentiating. So it becomes d phi. It depends on x and y so differentiating partially phi with respect to x dx plus phi with respect to y dy now as per the definition of the equipotential function phi when differentiated with x gives the velocity in positive x that is u and phi when differentiated with respect to y gives us the velocity in positive y that is velocity v so it can be written as d phi is equal to u dx plus v dy now for a particular line we can say that the equipotential function is constant so its derivative is zero like for the stream function so u dx plus v dy Therefore, u dx when sent onto the other side becomes minus u dx is equal to v dy. So basically dy by dx is equal to minus u upon v and this dy by dx is indicating the slope of equipotential line that is phi lines. So that is the second equation. And now, therefore, multiplying equation 1 and 2, in equation 1, we had dy by dx, that was the slope of the streamline, into, here we have dy by dx, that is the slope of the equipotential line, so I'll just write it, that this is the slope of streamline. And here is the slope 
of equipotential line so when they get multiplied in equation 1 we had v upon u here we have minus u by v so minus 1 remains here so it means they are orthogonal or perpendicular to each other and as we can see the slope of the streamline is v upon u it means it is positive slope whereas the slope of equipotential line is negative that is the negative slope so here i'll draw them with the help of a diagram here we have the coordinates x and y now first i'll draw the streamlines and streamlines are having positive slope as we can see here so here i have drawn these streamlines and they are like for example this is streamline 1 having stream function psi 1 which is constant for this particular line here we have stream function psi 2 constant for this line similarly stream function 3 and 4 and all are having positive slopes that is the slope is increasing now for the equipotential line the slope is negative so for the negative slope and they need to be perpendicular because their product is giving us the answer is minus 1 so it means they are orthogonal to each other so these lines which i have drawn they are having the negative slope indicated as phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 and phi 4 these are the equipotential functions and as we see the streamlines and equipotential lines they are orthogonal or perpendicular to each other so here we have proved that the streamlines having positive slope equipotential lines having negative slope they are cutting each other at 90 degree that is they are orthogonal and whatever the profile we are getting here at the center now this profile is called as the flow net that is flow net can be basically defined as the intersection of the streamlines and the equipotential lines so in short in this video we have proved that the streamlines and the equipotential lines are perpendicular to each other and their intersection gives us the flow net. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.